if it is your first time here and today I am filming a very exciting video because I am packing for our spring break trip. I figured what better time than now to go over everything with y'all that includes my packing essentials, how I like to plan to pack, my travel essentials, and then bring y'all along with of course to pack everything with me and that's what I'm doing today. I hope y'all are excited as I am. I'm gonna go through everything and everything will also be time stamped down below as well as linked down below. So if you have any questions about where anything is from, go check down there and it probably is linked. So now let's go ahead and get started with the things I find essential when I'm packing. So the first thing that I think is the most important for me personally is a hard travel suitcase. Currently I'm using the Away suitcase which I got as a gift from my parents. It has a lot of really cool features. It has a TSA approved lock. It has a built-in laundry bag. So if that's something you're interested in, it's in there as well. It has really nice separation between the two sides. One has a zip and then one you can just clip together. It also has really good wheels which I personally really appreciate because my last suitcase was struggling a lot. And then my all-time favorite thing about this suitcase is that the zippers clip in so it can't be torn off when it's going through TSA. I've had suitcases have the little zippers torn off and it is so frustrating when you get to your destination and you just you can't open your suitcase conveniently. My second essential for packing is packing cubes and I recently got these from Amazon and they are so cool because not only are they packing cubes so you can organize all your stuff between either days, your pajamas, your undergarments, your socks, just everything you can organize them in cubes, which I really appreciate because then it's easier for me to find the stuff I'm looking for. These are awesome because they also compress and zip down. So look at how big they get. And then you can compress them so then you can fit more stuff in your suitcase. So if you are someone who struggles with space in your suitcase, I would definitely recommend checking these out because they are seriously a space saver. <laughs> My third packing essential are these clear containers for toiletries. I personally love these because when you order them, it comes with a variety of different sizes. It also comes with a little spatula to help you depot your creams or what have you. And then it also comes with stickers you can use to help label them. So it's an awesome find for traveling with liquids or toiletry stuff. So I have been absolutely loving these. My fourth packing essential, which is more geared towards females, is a hard bra container. Basically, you just put your bras in here, zip it up, and it is so hard. It keeps your bras in tip-top shape so they're not getting smushed. I don't know what this has been my whole life. I found it recently and it is amazing and I really think it's an essential for all females to have. It does take up quite a bit of space, I will say, but it's worth it if you get to your destination and your bras aren't squished and deformed. My fifth packing essential are clear containers for toiletries. I personally really like these because you can see everything in them so you're not ruffling through opaque bags, not able to find your mascara or your eye cream or anything you might need. It's just so easy to see it all and they're really inexpensive on Amazon. My sixth packing essential is kind of new to me but it is this collapsible duffel bag that you can travel with and this is essential because if you bring it to your destination and you end up buying too many souvenirs, which I know I am definitely guilty of, instead of having your suitcase be overweight, you can just throw everything inside this and then throw it in the overhead bin of the airplane and not have to pay extra. This one in particular is awesome too because it has a separate compartment for shoes, so you could really even use this as a gym bag if you needed to. I'm just really excited to use it on this trip. My seventh packing essential is life-changing for me because this is something that used to make me so anxious when I would pack and it is a scale for your luggage. I'll try to link this one down below. I'll link one for sure, but this is life-changing because every single time my husband would pick up my suitcase and carry it down the stairs, I swear he would tell me it weighs way over the limit and then I would freak out that my suitcase weighs too much and every time, every time it was good enough, but this guy, I can just whip it out, use it to weigh my luggage, and then know for a fact that I'm fine. But until I got this guy, I would just anxiously wait until we got to the airport and I could weigh it. So this is amazing. And they're also not expensive either. So I highly recommend getting one of these guys. My eighth and final packing essential is these seven days a week knock knock pads, which also leads us into the next portion of our video. I love to use these when I'm planning out my packing. So. I'll go ahead and we will move to the next portion and I will explain to you how I like to use these to plan. The seven day a week knock knock pads are awesome. They pretty much just break everything down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the weekends. The way I like to use them when I'm packing is 
First, I will go in and put the date that we are traveling on in each of the sections. Then next to each day of the week, I will go in and put on what our activity is for that day. Next, I will look up what the weather is going to be like each day and fill that in as well. This just helps me have a better understanding of what to wear each day and therefore then what to pack for each day. After all the weather predictions are put in, I will go back and fill in what I plan to pack for each of the days in a checklist form. This really helps me not overpack. I used to be so bad at overpacking, but by listing everything out and making sure they fall under the weather guidelines and the activities, I've found that I really only pack whenever I need to. So I definitely have been loving this guy and he will be linked. Now for my travel essentials. These are just things that I have found make traveling a lot more convenient and less stressful for me. So I wanted to share them with y'all in case you were interested slash also think it's a good idea to bring some of these things along with. The first thing I like to travel with is a hair turban. I found that hotel towels just don't dry my hair fast enough and kind of damage it too. So I've switched to one of these travel hair turbans and it is great. And then I also use less towels in the hotel so it helps the environment too. All around a great win. So love traveling with one of these. My second travel essential is traveling with foaming hand soap. I particularly like this one from Bath and Body Works because the lid locks and unlocks so it's really easy to just throw into a clear bag when you move from hotel to hotel and you don't have to use those little bar soaps. I really don't feel like those bar soaps clean my hands well enough. So I switch to this, always bring it with me, everyone seems to love it and it's also really gentle on your hands too. So definitely would recommend throwing in some hand soap the next time you travel makes a world of difference. My third packing essential is a laundry bag. I really like these. I think I got this one from TJ Maxx. It just unzips and it becomes a laundry bag. My husband prefers to use plastic ones, which is totally fine if you bring them home and then we reuse them as normal trash bags when we get back. But this is what mine looks like. It's really cool. And you can wash this. So I feel like it's sanitary as well, but it really helps keep your dirty clothes away from your clean clothes, especially if you get your clothes wet or sandy or just sweaty even. It's just a really nice way to keep your clean clothes away from all that. My fourth travel essential is something newer that I've started traveling with, but it's stamps, which is so awesome to have if you like sending postcards to people. You can even go to your local post office and pick up specific ones for postcards, which typically costs a lot less, but it's just a great thing to have on hand in case you want to send one out to someone. I personally have a really hard time falling asleep in new spaces, so this leads us to my fifth travel essential, which is z -Quil. I don't like to use this stuff too much, but usually on the first or second day, I really like to use this so it gives my body enough sleep so I can participate in the activities we have planned that day. My sixth travel essential kind of goes along with the last one, but not really. It's just Pepto-Bismol, but in the pill form, I think it's a lot easier to travel with. My seventh travel essential is plastic cutlery. I can't tell you how many times We've gotten food out, come back to our hotel, and not had any way to eat it and had to use our hands, which is kind of gross. <laughs> so just having a couple of these in your suitcase really comes in clutch when you need to eat something and you don't want to use your fingers. It's just a really nice convenient thing to have. The eighth travel essential are these liquid IVs. Whenever I travel, I always find I drink a lot less water. So these really help make sure you are hydrated. I prefer to drink them in the morning and that way it kind of helps me maintain hydration throughout the day but this one's really good it's the passion fruit i also really like the strawberry ones good they do taste a little salty but i feel like it's worth it <laughs> the ninth and final travel essential that i like to have is these rubber rings i recently bought these and they're so awesome because you don't have to worry about losing your ring or it falling down a drain or personally i just don't like bring my rings i'm just scared something's gonna happen to it so i'm sure you've seen videos where i haven't had on my rings but these are awesome. So I'll be sure to link these down below if you're interested. I also got some for my hubby too. So I'll have the ones I got him linked down below as well. That concludes the long talky talk part of this video. I am going to move on to packing. So let's go ahead and head up to my bedroom and we can start getting everything together and load it into my suitcase. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door oh, You don't have 
like I said so if you want to have the links or anything or just know the names of something to look it up go ahead and check down there if you have any other travel tips or advice please be sure to leave those in the comments down below I would love for us to create a community and share ideas and just make our lives more efficient and better thanks again so much for watching and I will catch on the video very soon bye y'all